Hello and welcome to another CryptoNation video tutorial. Today we'll be setting up Frost on Windows and Ubuntu. Frost provides newsgroup-like messaging, private encrypted messages, file upload and download functionality, and a file sharing system. Frost, however, is vulnerable to spam. You may want to watch our video for setting up Freenet Message System, also known as FMS. For this tutorial, you'll need to have Java installed, Freenet running, and be connected to other nodes. If you haven't already installed Freenet and need help setting it up, please go to www.cryptonation.com and watch the tutorial on setting up Freenet for your operating system. Please note, the Windows portion of this video covers topics the Ubuntu portion doesn't, such as downloading Frost, exporting identities, disabling file sharing, and creating a message. It is recommended that you watch the entire video, even if you're running Ubuntu. Let's set up Frost for Windows. Open your browser and go to the Freenet web interface. Click the AFK Index Free Site link. When AFK loads, scroll down and locate Frost. Please note, the BoardStats Free Site also has a Frost icon. This is not the Frost Free Site, but hosts BoardStats on all known boards. When you find the Frost Free Site link, go ahead and click it. When the Frost Free Site loads, scroll down to the download section. As of May 2011, the latest version is labeled as Frost 2011-03-05. If the edition of the free site you loaded is showing an earlier version, don't worry. In the address bar of your browser, edit the last section which contains the edition number to be slash, minus one, slash, and press enter. Freenet when I'll search for the latest edition of the Frost Free Site. When the Free Site loads, scroll down again and download the zip file. On the next screen, click the Download button. When the download finishes, navigate to the file in your Freenet Downloads folder. In this example, I've already moved the downloaded file to my desktop. Extract the files to a folder, then open the folder. Before launching Frost, right-click the Frost Batch file and click Edit. If needed, you can change the amount of RAM Frost will use. When done, close the batch file. Let's run the Frost Batch file to open Frost. If you received a Java error, don't worry. Let's find where we have Java installed and update Windows environment variables for it. In this case, for Windows 7, it's in C, Program Files x86, Java, JRE6, and bin. Click in the location bar and copy the path. Click Start, type in Advanced, then open the Advanced System Settings. When it opens, click the Environment Variables button. For Windows XP, you can click Start, Right-click on the computer, then click on Properties. Click the Advanced tab, then the Environment Variables button. Create a new user variable named Path, then paste in the Java path. Do the same for a system variable. When done, click OK and close the Settings window. Now run the Frost batch file again. The first run of Frost will ask you about your FCP port. Leave the override unchecked and click OK. Frost will also prompt you to create an identity. You may choose whatever you want, you can always create or delete identities later. Now that we have Frost running, we should back up our identities in case an error occurs or we ever need to set up Frost on another machine. Click Option, then Manage Own Identities. When the Manage window opens, click Export to XML file. Choose a location and a file name, then click Save. Click on the Boards icon. Because this is a fresh instance of Frost, we don't know about any additional boards. As the Boards board updates, Frost should update our known boards. You can also import and export board lists from this window. Due to spam, we should make sure file sharing in Frost is disabled. 
Click Options, then click Preferences. Click the Search tab, then Verify Disable File Sharing is checked. Please note, this doesn't disable the ability to upload or download in Frost. It simply disables the automated discovery process and search option to protect against spam. If for some reason you still had trouble running Frost with the batch file, you may want to try running the jar file instead. Please note, this doesn't use the custom RAM settings set in the batch file. To create a new message, click on the board you want to post to, then click the New Message button. To choose who you want to send the message as, click the From dropdown. From this dropdown, you can post as anonymous or any identity you have created in Frost. When you're ready to send, click the Send button at the top left of the window. Let's set up Frost for Ubuntu. In this example, I already have the Frost zip file downloaded. Extract the files to a folder, then open that folder. Before we run Frost, we need to change the file permissions. Open a terminal window and the Frost README file. In the terminal window, navigate to your Frost folder. Follow the instructions and execute the chmod permission change. When done, close the terminal window and the Frost README file. Before launching Frost, open the Frost Shell file and click Display. If needed, you can change the amount of RAM Frost will use. When done, close the Shell file. Let's run Frost. Open the Frost Shell file and click Run. If you like these video tutorials, please consider following us on Twitter at CryptoNation for future updates. Thank you for watching this video tutorial, I hope you found it useful.